Guess who's back? Back again. Roxy's back. Yes! I'm about to get on a plane for the first time in two years. The Western Australia state borders just opened about a week ago. Uh, I'm supposed to be flying to Indonesia, but I decided to push it back because one of my favorite bands is playing a music festival in Melbourne. So I thought, YOLO, let's go. Apparently there's no restrictions to enter Victoria, so I hope that's the case. Let's go! I miss that sound so much. <laughs> I'm just about to board my flight. The last plane I was on was coming back to Australia due to the pandemic. This adventure is gonna be pretty crazy because the festival is like two hours away from Melbourne. So I literally just like went on a Facebook group for the festival and put up a post and managed to find someone with a spare spot in their car to drive to the site. So that's gonna be interesting. It's happening. So you know you're getting on a plane when you stand in a little tunnel. outside of Fortress WA for a little bit of context for those of you not from Oz Western Australia had one of the toughest border restrictions pretty much in the world that was WA's strategy to get through COVID was to just stay closed so this is so insanely exciting for me because yes while we did live a pretty normal life in WA it did mean that you couldn't go anywhere else so for me to be outside, this is insanely exciting. I've kind of forgotten how to travel in this time. I was like, what do I do when I come out the airport? So I just put my GoPro on a pole here so I can have a quick chat while I'm waiting for my friend Sarah to come and pick me up. Ooh, that's her. Hey, okay. Sarah has just arrived. She's not hard to spot, you'll see why. There she is! Hi! Hi. 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 <laughs> how are you? It's normal because we definitely are not. We need some normal. Good morning. I've checked out of my hostel and I'm now going to meet a random girl who I met on the event Facebook group who has offered to give me a lift. We're driving two hours to the festival. I feel like this method of hitchhiking is a little bit safer than my previous escapades that you've probably seen on this channel. Hopefully I'm going to end up at the festival and not at the Langley Forest. I hope they're cool. I've met my travel buddies and they are not serial killers. So that is a very good thing. We've just stopped along the way at Kmart to get a couple of supplies and a little bit of snacks for the road. So we are ready to roll. Let's do this. It's a um, fairly regular dilemma I find myself in, which is <laughs> I'm an idiot. I stupidly thought, oh, you're allowed to bring alcohol in. I'll bring a few bottles of beer. Um, Not just bottles, long necks. Long necks, yeah. Would be fine if they were cans. Anyway, long story short, not allowed to bring glass in. <laughs> the celebrations have begun. <laughs> I didn't want them to begin, but they've begun. Oh no. Now I'm going to show them my New South Wales license and they're going to be like, what the actual fuck? <laughs> uh, it's all good, they need the license. Oh good, drop safe. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Bye! <laughs> Lucky you're sober. <laughs> Who brings a bag of carrots? <laughs> a vegan. <laughs> One of those freaks. Don't crash. <laughs> It's, it's a rental car, it's we don't know what we're doing. Yeah, well that could have easily unbuckled and hit your wheel and you would have had a written off car. <gasps> oh my god. Uh, thanks for seeing that. I don't think we just keep going. Yeah, keep going man. Yeah. We're in. We're in. We got our tickets. Uh, what are these called? Wristbands? Yeah. Okay, so the challenge here is do we get everything in one trip or do or we required. require two trips? What's your bet? Is it I one or reckon two? two trips. I'm hoping one. I, tr I packed enough for one, but 
I do have hands to help. We do one trip or we fail is my yeah. philosophy. That's like, you know when you get out of the car from the supermarket, yeah. you carry like 20 so. bags? That's where I'm at. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Forgot the yoga mat. Oops. All right, we got this. We have lugged all our stuff and found a spot that we hope is going to be okay. So we set up the tents, packed super light, managed to fit everything in the one little suitcase. My favorite investment is a Kmart blow up pillow for $2.50. I wasn't even going to bring a pillow or a sleeping bag or anything and I'm glad I did because it gets cold at night here. So now that we're set up, let's go and check out the festival! Ready! <laughs> protection from the sun here, protection from getting a sun here. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? It's Clarice the Unified Heroes. I had the best yeah. thing ever happen to me. Story time. I went to like that sustainability kind of chat with um, Dale from Ocean Grove oh, and uh, Jenna from Tonight Alive was in the crowd watching. Oh, and, and I like chat with her after and it was just the most wholesome thing ever. I got Selfie. a picture. Yeah, Selfie. Cool. Selfie. But it was, it, she was just so nice. And, oh my God. <laughs> They're both just lovely people.
so fucking good. I was right at the front. I just, I've lost my friends, but that's fine. The next morning. A few things I want to mention as I wrap up this Unified 2022 vlog is first of all just how much of a vibe of pure joy and gratitude there was at this festival. We've obviously been cooped up for two years unable to see live music on this scale. Most of the bands mentioned how much it meant to them. There was one quote, I'm sorry I didn't write down who said this but I had to write it down in my phone because I just related so much. He said, it's been a real journey of self-discovery when you lose your identity and that is just so true and I feel like a lot of us in the music community felt that really to our core because music does form a big part of who you are and especially when you're going to gigs all the time and then suddenly that's taken away from you well we finally got it back yes yes obviously thank you to all the bands that showed up and played you got through this hectic time you got back on stage you did it and you made us all feel whole again so thank you this sounds so corny but it's it's the feels that I'm feeling. It really struck me how much the people in the crowd were really caring towards each other and looking out for each other. There was no egos whatsoever. It felt like everyone was just a friend who I hadn't met yet. Like I was just surrounded by people and we're just like vibing off each other and it was just the best time. And I did make friends with heaps of you. Uh, let me know if you spot yourself in this video. Hopefully I captured everyone's best angles. <laughs> And special mention to the security guards. You do notice when you go to hardcore shows the difference in how security guard companies deal with, you know, the madness of a mosh pit. And I've got to say, the security team at Unify 2022 were the best by miles of any security team I've ever witnessed. They got it. They were in the vibe. They were catching like grown men and women who were flying off the pit 
just like little babies and gently placing them on the ground and then getting back up looking for the next one. That makes a huge difference to how safe you feel at a festival. So huge thumbs up to the Sekis. You guys were amazing. Special mention to the food vendors, especially the Tarwin Sharks crew. I think you were a standout crowd favorite with lots of people there. My personal favorite was the Hare Krishna van. I think I ate it three times. Yes, delicious vegetarian food. The only constructive criticism I'd have about food would be to have more coffee options. Uh, even just like a tent with hot water and some cheap instant coffee would definitely alleviate, I think it was like a 90 minute wait for coffee in the morning because there was only two coffee vans with like thousands of people waking up like zombies and eating coffee. Uh, but apart from that, everything was perfect. Or we could all BYO a thermos with hot water that would last two days of the festival, hopefully. That is a good idea for next year that I might do. To the Unify crew, first of all, to the organizers, Unified, thank you so much for organizing a festival in what has been an insanely uncertain time. You pulled it off and all the crews and volunteers on the ground, you guys were fantastic. I was honestly so surprised to see how clean the facilities were. I even saw someone cleaning toilets at like two o'clock in the morning. So huge thumbs up to you. And finally, thanks to Heaps Normal, the non-alcoholic beer brand. You've probably seen me plug these guys a few times on this video, not sponsored though. I would love to be because they're amazing. I've been sober for over four and a half years. So when I saw Heaps Normal as a festival partner, that honestly pushed me over the line to book my flight two days before the festival because there is nothing better than an ice cold beer on a sunny day and it's so great to see sobriety being inclusively celebrated. And as you can see from this video, I clearly don't need any substances to have fun. This is just my heaps normal. I wasn't shooting professionally there, so I didn't take my Sony cameras. I was just shooting on a GoPro Hero 10 and my iPhone 11 Pro Max. So hopefully I did it justice. Let me know in the comments who your favorite bands were at the festival. Obviously I didn't film everyone. It was just my personal perspective. But if you liked it, hit the thumbs up. And if you like my style of travel video, I usually do travel content on here. So feel free to subscribe to my channel, Roxanne Taylor Media. If not, that's cool. I'll just see you in the pit next year. See ya. Yeah.